All right. Now we're doing free code camp, response web design, learn CSS transforms by building a penguin. Step 101. So now we're going to target the penguin element when it is active and increase its size by 50% in both dimensions. Okay. So this is another thing we haven't learned yet, but we can figure it out right up here. So let's say uh, CSS active state. How about that? Uh, active selector looks good to me. So what we're going to do is just going to be one of these things where we use the colon. We're going to say uh, penguin or whatever it is, active. And then we'll say scale uh, 1.5 or something like that. Uh, so let's do that. Let's say, what are we doing? Dot penguin. And then we'll say active. And then we'll do this. And we'll say uh, transform. Like we've been doing. And we'll do the scale. And we don't have to do the X or the Y. Because it's uh, going to take care of both dimensions if we just say 50%. No, excuse me, 1.5 just like that. And let's see what it does. Uh, oh, come on now. Come on now. Don't play with me. Oh, yeah, you got to click it. So if you click it, wah, 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 wah. you love CSS, right? Aha. Anyway, so there we go. Let's check it. All right. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 102 and we'll see you next time.